This is a tribute to Coach Ditka, and I am the Grabowski man. This is my tribute to the coach, Mike Ditka, whose number will be retired this year by the Bears. I'm the original Grabowski man who was in the Grabowski shuffle with the coach. Jim Grabowski is the original who played for the Bears and the Packers. The coach is the number two Grabowski, and I'm the number three Grabowski. Jim Grabowski is a graduate of the University of Illinois, as I am. Go Illini. Now before I move on, I need to say hello to George. You may know him as Norm from Cheers. George, you're still, still trying to steal my thunder. George, I saw your commercial and you are starting to look like a sausage. Speaking of sausage, the best sandwich in Chicago is at Freddy's at 31st and Union in Bridgeport. Tell Fred that Augie sent you. Getting back to the coach, when the coach played tight end and he scored, the score was always Ditka 89, the opponent zero. I can't talk about Ditka without talking about Butkus and Sayers. Dick Butkus was the greatest linebacker in the history of pro football. Dick Butkus used to play defense and stand in the ready position. He'd look left, look right, put his hand up. He had pads on him, and he looked like a real bear. And then he would roar at the quarterback. Gail Sears was the greatest running back of all time. Sears was born with great talent. Greatest sports movie of all, Brian's Song, with James Conn and Billy Dee Williams. What team did they play for? The Bears. And I know a lot of you people are Walter Payton fans. Yes, Walter may have been the greatest football player of all time. George Hallis picked Ditka to come back to the Bears and be the coach. Of course, you know what happened. The Bears won the Super Bowl, 1985. Even though you were born in Pittsburgh, coach, you are the adopted son of Chicago. Coach, Remember this, I'm looking for a special team where working hard is more than a dream. Gang I want is tried and true, what they say is what they do. They're sometimes fake, but never phony. Don't eat steak, then spit bologna. This group is always in the action, winning is their satisfaction. When they get going, folks will cheer. Don't call them Smiths, because they'll toss their beer. You know, I got to tell a story, coach, of when we were doing the project. And we were up on stage, and you were supposed to be at Bears practice. And the producer was getting a little hoity-toity, and I could see that you were getting aggravated. And your watch kept coming loose, and then your watch fell off. And then you picked up that watch and threw it across the room, and it hit the back wall. And everybody in there was dead silent but me. I was laughing hysterically. You turned around, looked at me, and winked. And I just kept laughing. After we did that, the producer came up to me, and he said, what'd you think of that? And I said, you know what? I said, I'm from the south side of Chicago. We're all bipolar. I loved it. I said, that's what I like about Ditka. Whether he's coaching on the field, or whether he's doing a DVD or a video, what you see is what you get with him. He's not fake and he's not pretentious. He's not a phony. He's the real deal. And coach, 
I think I'll finish with this. On ESPN, reach over and give Keyshawn Johnson a slap for me because he doesn't appreciate the older players. Uh, I think what I'll say in closing is, Coach, don't come to a fist fight with a cane. God bless you and congratulations on your number being retired. You're the best. I guess originally I, I thought, you know, that uh, I think everybody wants to be the fair-haired kid on the block, and I just felt that we weren't the fair-haired kid on the block. We were the guys that had to work a little bit harder to get everything we got. Nothing seemed to be coming real easy. We had to overcome some obstacles, and I kind of liked that. That was a work ethic to me. That was why I called us the Grabowskis and the good guys the Smiths. And maybe I wanted us to be the bad guy a little bit, but in real meaning, Grabowski doesn't mean bad guy. It means hard worker, good attitude, uh, a person that gets knocked down and gets backed up. To me, it's, it's, it's the American dream. It's what it's all about. It's the guy who struggles a little bit, but overcomes it and, and makes things happen. I, I preach attitude. I, I don't think you can do anything in life without a good attitude. The worst, uh, you know, if you've got a good attitude, you've got a chance. If you've got a bad attitude, you've got no chance. So we try to keep things positive. We try to, you know, go in that vein. And I, to me, that's what Grabowski's are all about. You look at the teams that win, and I, not necessarily are they the most glamorous teams in football. You know, there's a lot of glamour teams in football that go out there and, and everybody looks fancy and they got those pretty clean uniforms and the pretty white shoes and uh, they look very sterile. And they throw the ball around and they're real cute. But you look at the teams that win. And you look at the teams that get down in the dirt and grovel and work and sweat and, and get a little bit extra. Hey, they're Grabowski's. Tell you how we'll run it down. We're gonna see how you dance first. Rich Tufo is gonna come up, listen to your rap, teach you something you haven't seen before, just to see how quick you are. Then we're gonna dance again, and then we're gonna call numbers of people we would like to stay for the second round today. I'd like to have number one, number three, number 13, number 10, number 11, number four, number 15, and number 14. Stay on stage. The rest of you, thank you very much. Hi, Stephen J. Ejas, Grabowski. Laura Michelle Conchita Consuela, Grabowski. Anna Martisowski. Grabowski. 
My name is Ronald James O'Neill Grabowski. August Grabowski, dressed for the occasion. Hi, I'm Jason Solid Grabowski. <laughs> Ernest William Ray, will you come back tomorrow, please? Valerie Meyer, you will come back tomorrow. August Dozer, Daryl Hudson, Mary Jo, tomorrow, please. I think the, the thing that surprised me yesterday was that we had such a high quality group of the people who came in. Uh, I think it made our job a, a little rough yesterday because we didn't expect to have as many good people. We didn't, we didn't know who to keep. Uh, which was, it, was, it was tough. Uh, and, and looking at today's thing, uh, you know, is, uh, is even rougher because there are hundreds of people lined up as a result of all the television coverage yes. that we had yesterday and of, of all the press that uh, hit the papers this morning. So I think we have a, a rough selection job if the quality is as high as yesterday. All right, up on your feet. That's because some of you are leaving. <laughs> you ever heard that one before? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Me too. Uh, we're going to ask the following nine people to remain with us. Number 10, number 38, Number 40, number 48, number 57, number 63, number 67, number 120, and number 167. To the rest of you, thank, thank you. you very, very much. Excellent job. You listen very carefully, because we'd like specific answers to the questions we ask, OK? Anybody caught BSing in any way, shape, or form after this part, OK, will be eliminated because of it. If I ask you a question, give me a Grabowski honest answer. What makes you nervous, Larry? Being uh, one of the last nine people to be chosen, I've never even dreamed of uh, getting this far, actually. What's the worst thing that ever happened to you in your life, Larry? Why are you nervous? I don't know. I guess I'm not used to this setting. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, George. You like being a cop? It's tough to be a cop. It is. It's a hard job. You ever killed anybody? No. You worried about this, Jason? I'm worried. What would it mean to you to become a Grabowski? It would mean to me to, to become something. What makes you think you qualify to be a Grabowski? I've never gotten knocked down far enough that I can't pick myself up or have somebody help me. I've never been through anything like that before. We had to dance, individual dance routines. We had to um, pretty much bare our souls on stage in front of like everybody with just a big bright light and they're asking questions. It sounded like I was talking to God. I didn't even think I was going to get this far. Fantastic girl would walk in the door, you know, long, blonde hair, bouncy, tan figure that would knock anybody dead. And I'd be going, oh, I'm going home. And I'd, no, no, you're not going home. That was, <laughs> I think that's what got me every day. Next thing you know, it was around, what, 9, 10 o'clock at night. And they said uh, that I was one of the nine finalists. We went up on stage. They wanted us to sing, dance. And they kept calling people back who they wanted to see again. And uh, it just so happened that three people in our group made it all the way. 
I'm Phil Ponce. Chicago's latest musical sensations are unveiled later in this newscast. After going through uh, two exhausting days of auditions, uh, which many of you covered at the Riviera nightclub and over 300 applicants for would-be Grabowskis, we uh, then had personal interviews, we reviewed over 40 hours of tape which we were shooting, uh, sifted it down to nine finalists. Uh, from the nine, we have picked our five Grabowskis. And, uh, we're pretty excited about them. I hope you will be too. I'm going to do two things then right now, and that's introduce somebody who needs no introduction, who will introduce five people who definitely do need an introduction. So Mike, would you take it over from here? Uh, this is the group that's going to perform and uh, on the video and on the record, and uh, hopefully we make them famous. And as, as some of them said, maybe this is their way of getting on MTV, and also maybe this is their way to hit the jackpot. Can we get a sound from you? Although uh, Mr. Ditka is withholding his services here, I'm wondering if we could just get. A I'm also, the, I'm also the agent for these people. <laughs> <laughs> these are spokesmen. It's it's so good that you just don't want to you just don't want to leave the cat out of the bag too soon. Do any of you have professional dance or singing experience? No, no. unfortunately. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> How would you describe Ditka's? Star quality here that, that, that makes going to make this something special. What we've seen so far is that he's one heck of a good rapper, and he's got smoking feet. So that's all I can tell you right now. And you're just going to simply have to wait till it comes out to get the rest of it. We picked excellent people that really. Uh, exemplify what we're trying to get across, the work ethic, the attitude of reaching for a dream, I mean, following a star. I mean, it, it, it's, it's interesting. We took people from every walk of life, from a guy who works construction, to an ex-policeman, to a waitress, uh, to, a, to a moving guy, to a bodybuilder. I mean, we, we got people to do everything. These are actual professional recording headphones where you're going to hear the music come out of one side of this, a little bit smaller or condensed version than you would out of the big speakers you heard at the auditions or at the rehearsals thus far, but uh, still powerful enough. And you'll be hearing yourself rap and sing through there as we proceed with the recording session, putting down your raps and the choruses and the refrains. Jason, you get the honors. Get the first one on. Didn't he do that good? Yeah. <laughs> These are no longer headphones, they're Grabowska phones. Mm -hmm. Everything you do from now on will be Grabowska. Grabowska. <laughs> Your first recording session. Wow. We're Grabowskis, wild and free. What you get is what you see. We like to polka, we like to shuffle. We may wrinkle, but we don't ruffle. Don't even let it psych you out, because it's not a problem at all. Psych me out? Well, can we, uh, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. No doubt. rock and roll is here, the dream come true right here. Wild and free, what you get is what you see. We like to polka, we like to shuffle, we may wriggle, but we don't ruffle. We like to work, we love to play, we do them both about the same way. I don't do this. I'm in heavy concentration. <laughs> don't disturb him. Yeah, he's in a coma. <laughs> We like to work, we love to play, we do them both about the same way. So on your feet, it's time to hustle, let's all do the Grabowski Shuffle. Better, much yeah, better, 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 much better. We're we still can do better, better. better, we still can do better. We like to work, we love to play, we do them both about the same way. Baby, no, no, oh, we got to baby, no, no, 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 baby
Old sex? <laughs> Before I was born. I was girls with you alone. We are the Grobowski's, baby. Don't do nothing halfway. Don't believe in baby. No, no. No, no. Yes. I guess you're about it. Great. Good. Look out, world. Here comes Krabowski. <laughs> yeah. So we all basically had the same type of outlook, uh, even though we come from different backgrounds and different, uh, you know, areas. But we all seem to have something in common, which is a will to to do something good. I was really nervous. I think that has a lot to, has a lot to do with it. But I'm gonna pick it up. Gonna make it real good. I can't believe we're this far already. We've already been here in the recording studio twice, and uh, everything's just going so fast. Five, six, seven, eight. And One, two, three, four, five, hitchhike. And left. And five, turn. Three, and four, jump. Five, six, seven, no, no. To no. range, no, no. no. Punch up, walk back, one, two, three, and walk. And walk, and one, two, three, right foot. supportive of one another it's like uh, when you play ball together on a team and one person supports another on, on, on the team and you back one another and you, you pull for the other individual I love them all I think they're great I think is a we're gonna be a good team we all get along well Exciting. Let's get the step and you'll be there, okay? It was, it was great up to there. Just nail the step. Here we go. This is where it counts. Come on, you're having a good time. This is the marbles. I want Mike to see what steps he has to do for the walk. Okay, okay. okay. do the first one. Let them sing the first one. And you'll be there in a second.
Get enough sleep? No. <laughs> I got home about uh, 3 o'clock this morning and I worked on the shot sheets for about an hour. Slept for about an hour, got up and worked on shot sheets and then came over here. <laughs> We're not gonna do 20 more? <laughs> How is he to work with for you? A pleasure. I've had lots of people tell me that uh, coach can be difficult at times. I've yet to run into one instance of that. Uh, what I have found is that he's got more talent than most people thought he would have in, in this particular area. And this is where uh, Mike has to, in fact, know four choruses uh, by himself. He has to be able to dance. He has to be able to act. He has to be able to do some very, very special things. And he does them very well. I think you're gonna be very surprised. I remember when I was younger, I opened the refrigerator and do five minutes when the light came on. So, you know, we all have a little show business and and this, you know. And I, you know, I'm, I don't know if Tom Selleck should give up his day job or not right now. But, uh, you know, when I get my tap dancing down to go with my uh, virtuosos, uh, it'll be interesting. I got to think about a backup career. You know, this football coaching's not that uh, stable. This whole thing is for the front of the uh, the 12 inch, for the cassette, and for the front of the video package. So this is what people are going to see, and they're either going to buy it because you look like you're having fun and happy and are a little nuts, or they're going to put it on the uh, back shelf. I'm going to hurt him. Shoot! Oh my God! <laughs> Quick! <laughs> <laughs> okay, but this is a Polaroid, so we can see what everybody looks like. We need some smiles here. Everybody happy? Get wild here. Get It was fun. Uh, I could see where it couldn't have been fun if we wouldn't have had good people working, but I think for the amount of time we put in, I think it was a lot of fun because we had a good group of people and I think it, it came off smoothly. And plus, it, not that it even had to come off smoothly, I think it's because I think everybody really wants it to be something special that everybody believes in it. Show me you can't and go out and do it. The more you try, the more you get done. Along the way, 
you gotta have fun. Well, grab your partner, a one and a two. The Grabowski Shuffle is just for you. We're Grabowski, wild and free. What you get is what you see. Grabowski's everybody who's willing to dream a little bit and work toward that dream. I, you know, I just think Chicago is one of the great cities to visit in the country, and I think if you visit Chicago, you'd like to see a lot of the sites. I think one of the main attractions in the city, and, and not only because I'm a part of it, but is Fitka's Restaurant and City Lights uh, Nightclub, which is really something special. We would invite everybody to just come in and spend some time and see it. I think you'll enjoy it, because I'll guarantee you one thing. When you get there, you're going to hear the Grabowski Shuffle. We're Grabowski, wild and free. What you get is what you I think it could be a great thing to have uh, uh, 
fan clubs in every city. I can really see that happen. I can see it, you know, almost being where you might have conventions with it. I, I don't know if that could come about. You know, if you, if you had a convention, of course, you'd have to have the number one Grabowski there. I really feel that, that, that if you really have an envision of what life is all about, and what the American dream is all about, it's succeeding, working, effort, sweat, perspiration, guts, character, enthusiasm, then you're Grabowski.